you got to learn about cloud security right now, especially AWS security. This is because everyone has already moved into cloud. It is the future. And in fact, the future is already here. And one of the most beautiful features that's been released now is what we call the IAM Rose Anywhere. It means that we can now be able to even on your on-premises server, or in this case, we're going to demonstrate Kali Linux to be able to assume into a role and begin running all these different types of AWS commands directly on the server itself. So let me explain why this is better. So what happened in the past is that you have your AWS account over here. And what you do next is that you create what we call the access keys, all right, as well as having a secret key within it. So this allows you to copy and paste this access key and secret key into another computer or machine that is outside of the AWS environment. And from here, once you have copy paste that, you'll be able to query into your AWS account, having to do and say, for example, doing S3, get objects, be able to put object, be able to list down all your EC2 sets servers and so on and so forth. The issue with this setup is that whoever is the hacker is able to view into the access key and secret key, they'll be able to plant it into their own hacker's computer. So in this case, say for example, it is Mr. Hacker Law, your best friend. And once the hacker law is able to get access into those information, they'll be able to likewise query directly from their machine and completely control the entire AWS account. So this is a big issue. And this occurs frequently because the access key and a secret key can be placed into your applications. And this makes it viewable for any of the developers who have access into the source code and they can view all of that. And sometimes it could accidentally be committed into say your GitHub repositories. And after which this becomes globally viewable and accessible. And even if it is for a mistake, in that moment, all this different type of hacking crawlers will be able to view and hijack into all these access key and secret keys ultimately giving back the hacker the ability to gain access into the entire AWS account. And clearly this is pretty dangerous. So what we want to do is to move over into temporal access for all of your servers so that they're continuously being authenticated, authorized access into the AWS environment. And we can do that with IAM roles anywhere. So right in front of us, we are on our AWS account. So over here, what you want to do is go over into Certificate Manager and you want to create a private certificate authority. So what you can do here, once you hit into Certificate Manager, go to the left side and I zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see, click under AWS Private CA. All right, so once you're in AWS Private CA, what you want to do is go ahead and click Create a Private Certificate Authority. And in this case, we will select Root CA. Okay, so this is the boss of the hierarchy. And in this case over here in organization, we can enter, say, Hacker Law Organization. Okay, maybe for organization unit, let's call ourselves Red Team. Okay, and you can input more and more of other fields. And once you're ready for that, go ahead and click Next. All right, so here we have the key algorithm. So let's go ahead with the default RSA2048, click Next. We have our CRL distribution, so we can go ahead and click on that. So let's go ahead and create a new S3 bucket so that we can identify which of the certificates are to be revoked. So let's go ahead and enter, say, certification, revocation, list, LOI, all right? And of course, if you want to set up an OCSP server, you can do just that too, click Next. All right, if you have any tags, so you have a tagging strategy, you can easily input some of this text over here. Click Next, CA permission, so we checked on that. Authorize ACM access to renew certificates requested by this account. Click Next, so you can review and create. And once you have reviewed, click onto the pricing, click Confirm and Create. So you can see right here, setting up your private CA typically takes less than 10 seconds, but it could take longer. So once you have that, all right, so go ahead and click under Install CA Certificate. So we have our validity of 10 years and a signature algorithm. Click Next, click Confirm and Install. Okay, that's it, done, success. You can see right here, your root CA certificate was installed successfully. The status of the CA is active and able to issue private certificates. Now jumping over into identity and access management, you click on the roles on the left. And once you're in here, what you want to do is scroll all the way down and you can see right here, we have an amazing service feature right here, which is called roles anywhere. So go ahead and click manage. Right, so once you're in I am roles anywhere, this is going to be the place where we want to set up the trust between the certificate authority 
all right, as well as in this case, I am Rose anyway. So we create what we call a trust ankle. All right, so go ahead and click under create a trust ankle. All right, so let's give it Hacker Loy as our anchor name. And of course, over here, we have two options available. One is the Certificate Manager Private Certificate Authority. And number two is if you have an external certificate bundle, you can do just that too. So in this case, we're going to be demonstrating on Certificate Manager Private CA. So once you have that, you can see that we're listing over here our Certificate Manager Private CA, select on it. All right, so now we're establishing that anchor between the IAM rules anywhere as well as our IAM Private CA. Go ahead and click create a trust ankle. That's it, done. Successfully created Trust Anchor, all right? Hacker Alloy. Follow the steps, configure session by first setting up an IAM role with a Rose Anywhere Trust policy. And what I can do now is jump back over to IAM roles. And here I can go ahead and click Create Role. And now of course, in this case, we can click under Custom Trust Policy. And over here, we have to update this. So we update the trust policy to include Rose anywhere on Amazon AWS.com. So in this case, I can head over and I can paste it right here so you can see the following. All right, so we have the trust policy that has the service roles anywhere on Amazon AWS.com. And of course, we have the action of assume role, tag session, and set source identity. So once you're ready, go ahead and click next. All right, so now the question is, what kind of permissions do we want to provide this role? So let's go ahead and say provided S3 access, all right? So perhaps I give it Amazon S3 full access. So once you have that, go ahead and click next, all right? So we give it a role name. So in this case, I'll put it as roles anywhere, okay, S3, all right? So we can go ahead and say, all right, roles anywhere, S3 full access as all description. So once you're ready with that, all right, you can go ahead Scroll all the way down and go ahead and click under Create Role. Okay, so you can see right here, Creating Role, Roles Anywhere. And you can see right here, Roles Anywhere, S3 Created. So now, scroll all the way down and we go ahead and click under Roles Anywhere, click Manage. Now that we are back to I am Roles Anywhere, we can go to Step 2, Configure Roles. So over here, you can see the following. Configure your existing role trust policies for Roles Anywhere. So if you have any existing roles, you can always easily update them with the trust policy. And next up, what we can do now is to configure a profile. So go ahead and click configure a profile. So let's go ahead and enter profile anywhere S3 full access. All right. So once we have that, we can specify and it's listing down the roles which has that trust policy. So let's go ahead and select on that. All right. So once you have it over here, and of course, in this case, we can also intend to remove, say, any inline policies. OK, so this is the session policies that we can always define. All right. So once we have that, we scroll all the way down and click create a profile. OK, so you can see right here, successfully created profile, profile anywhere S3 full access. Next up, what we want to do is go back over certificate manager and click under request a private certificate. Click under next. And here we have the certificate authority, hacker lawyer, as you can see right here. And of course, we can have the domain name. So in this case, let's enter hackerlawyer.com. OK, so once we have that, scroll all the way down and then select under I understand ACM will not be able to renew private certificates issues from this certificate authority without necessary permission. Click request. OK, so once you do a refresh, you can see over here we have hacker lawyer. All right, this is a private. So go ahead and click on it. So once you're in here, go ahead and select under export. All right, so once you have here, we have the passphrase. So I'm not gonna tell what the passphrase is, okay? So I enter the following of the passphrase. And then once we have that, I understand ACM would charge my account for exporting the certificate if it has not been previously exported, okay? And so on and so forth. Click on the generate PEM encoding. So once we're here, we have the certificate body, the certificate chain, and the certificate private key. So we need to download this into the target server. So I can jump over to Kyle Linux terminal and I can do say make directory and enter roles anywhere. And we can CD over into roles anywhere. And what I want to do now is to be able to copy all of those information into the roles anywhere directory. So as you can see here, we have the following, all right? So we have all of the different files, which is certificate underscore chain.txt, certificate.pam, private underscore key.pam. And all we did was just going ahead to copy, echo, all right? And then after which having it sent over into the target file. So what I can do next is go ahead and enter, say use open SSL, all right? And we can have RSA followed by dash in. And of course we have our private key. So we are trying to decrypt our private key by using the passphrase as we have created earlier. Decrypt it, private underscore key dot PEM. Hit enter on that. Enter passphrase for private key. Let's go ahead and enter the passphrase that we have entered. And you can see right here, writing RSA key. Okay, so we can see over here, we can enter ls dash la. And over here, we have decrypted private key dot PAM. Next up, we need to download our signing helper. All right, so here you have the following credential helper tool. So let's go ahead and download for Linux. All right, so once we have that, let's go ahead and save the file over into our desktop. All right, so from desktop, we can go into roles anywhere. Go ahead and save it over here. All right, so you can see on top right corner, we are done.
So what we want to do is to add a executable into the target file, which is Adable Signing Helper. So there are three things that we need in order to execute on the Adable Signing Helper. So one is you need to trust ankle Amazon resource name. All right, number two, you need to profile Amazon resource name. And number three, you need to roll Amazon resource name. So if you go back over to the console, you can see here we have the trust ankle. And from the trust ankle, you have the Amazon resource name right here. So this is the one that we need. Next up, if you head over to IAM, you have the roles anywhere S3 in this case. So of course, over here, we have the Amazon resource name. Okay, so likewise, we need to copy that. And finally, if I head back over into the profile in roles anywhere, we have the Amazon resource name for this profile that we have created, which is right here. And once you're ready in three, two, one, hit enter. And we get the following access key. ID, secret access key, as well as the session token. And all we got to do now is export it over and we'll be able to gain access into the AWS account. So let's go ahead and do just that. That's it done. I've done the export. So we have the AWS access key ID, secret access key, as well as the session token. So let's go ahead and enter instruction and see what we get over here. So we have the following of AWS S3 API, followed by list buckets, hit enter on that. And let's see what we get. That's it done. We can get the following right now. So we have cloud trail logs, we have logs, certification, revocation list, loy, all right, and so on and so forth. So we're able to list down all the buckets in the AWS account. Next up over here, I'm currently in the directory of loyliangyang.aws and I can enter ls-la. So I've copied all the previous files over into the following directory. All right, so over here, what I can do is I can cat config. So I've set up the following profile of call roles anywhere. And of course, we have the credential process and we're targeting the AWS signing helper. Okay, and with that, what I can do now is I can go ahead and enter, say, for example, AWS S3 API list buckets and I enter the profile now of roles anywhere, I hit enter on that, and we'll be able to list now buckets within the target account. Additionally, I can enter say AWS, STS, get caller identity. And what I can do now is enter profile, roles anywhere, hit enter on that. And now with that, we're using the following of roles anywhere S3 to run just that. Beautiful. You have learned so much about AWS security today. So once again, remember like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest article hacking and penetration testing tutorial. And of course, in this case, even more AWS security tutorials coming up your way.